Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, just kind of a quick video, I guess, uh, to go live. No real reason other than I'm way early um, to meet up tonight, like an hour early, and I thought I would just go live and talk to any of you that are sort of about, I guess. So, um, yeah, so hello to uh, the people that are just joining me. There is no point to this video. I, like, as I just said in the, um, the introduction, basically, uh, I am over an hour early meeting someone. Uh, I'm actually in, in a hotel, and there is no one here at all. So um, I thought I would just go live on YouTube and have a chat to some people and just kill some time before the lectures, I guess. Um, the lectures aren't actually today. Um, the lectures aren't till tomorrow. But uh, so yeah, so hello to everyone that is joining. I'm just going to read the comments. Um, so hello to everyone and thank you for enjoying my videos. Um, thank you. I'm not actually that fancy. It's just a uh, just a top and a coat. It's nothing too exciting. Um, Olivia says that she is sad today. Um, so what's up? If you don't mind me asking. No, um, it's not in Doncaster um, today. Uh, this is down in Bristol, so uh, down south, the completely end of the uh, end of the other end of the country, pretty much. Um, hello to Paddy Chen. Hello to RSC Gaming and Morth, um, and thank you for the uh, donation. Very, very kind of you. Um, I didn't do this for donations, purely just to sort of have a chat with you guys, I guess. Um, hello to Mason R, hello to Will Kerr, or RJ. Great to see you as always. Um, hello to King Serpents, hello to those from Morocco, um, and everyone. So, um, getting any new inverts? At the moment, no. Um, there's a video going up tomorrow at 6 p.m. which I've just been working on. I actually have, because I'm early, I have my laptop with me and I've been editing some videos and just doing bits of work and things. So I have to get done messaging and comments and things like that that I'm behind on. Um, tomorrow's video is ready and in that video I go over, I did an unboxing video last couple of weeks ago, which was the live spy shop unboxing. People seem to enjoy it. And I was live for about three hours, I think, which was really, really good. Um, but for some reason, the live video was never saved, and to my knowledge, it's just kind of vanished for some reason, which is kind of rubbish. So what I ended up doing was doing a quick video to show you um, the inverts that I got in that um, in that uh, box. I got some close-ups, got some feeding. Of course, I got some handling video, um, a handling video of the. Um, Oh, I can't think of the species. It's um, H. It's a H species Columbia. I did some research and found out what it was. So I have a bit of a handling video as well, um, feeding. Um, so yeah, it's quite a good video, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So, um, but no new inverts at the moment. Uh, the lectures tomorrow is not for the buying or selling of tarantulas or inverts. It's more of like a, a classroom kind of thing. One good thing about tomorrow is I know Tarantula Addict is coming down to the lectures as well. So what's going to happen at the lectures is tonight I'm meeting up with uh, Lee Arden from the Spider Shop, um, Gar Rees, who's got a uh, YouTube channel called Predator or Prey Online, or Predator and Prey Online, and a bunch of other people. Um, and we're going to offer a drink and have some food, I think, and just kind of chill out. Tomorrow for the lectures uh, is when Trantradix is coming down, so I might try and get a bit of a video with him if he's free and available too. Um, the next time that I'll be getting inverts probably won't be till the BTS in May. Um, oh, actually, no, tell a lie. There's the Northern Invert Show April the... about the 20th of April. It's, a, it's that Sunday. Um, I get back from... Um, Amsterdam on the Friday and on the Sunday there's the Northern Invert Show which I'll be attending so if you have any um, recommendations on inverts that you'd like me to get then please let me know. So hello uh, to those in South Africa. Oh I'm sorry to hear about your grandma's toilet, Pukra. Um, 
that's really crap when any spider dies. Do you know why it died or? Uh, to that one reptile channel, yeah, you should come down. It's at, um, what's it called? It's the uh, Holiday Inn Bristol, but it's the north one, not the one in the town. I know that because I, if you have me on Snapchat, I did a story and I went to the wrong um, hotel and it's like factory units and I was like, this isn't it. Well, this hotel is actually really, really nice to be fair, so it's pretty good. Hello to those that are up the road in Cheltenham. Um, KCK Reptiles would like a new tarantula, so what is it you're after? Uh, thank you, Will. I'm actually feeling quite good at the moment, which is quite nice. I've uh, got lots of exciting things coming up. Um, and I've been busy trying to get other things done and stuff, but yeah, I've also been drinking uh, some tea. I've been in this hotel for about three hours now. Uh, two, three hours. I've um, I brought my laptop with me. Uh, my brother drove me here uh, so that I can have a bit of alcohol over the weekend because I don't think I'm driving. So he's literally drove me two hours here um, and he's going to pick me up again. And because we were early, while I was drinking tea and coffee, we were uh, been watching the SpongeBob movie, the first one. So, uh, but yeah, so it's all good. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, to Mason R, who says, how is the tea Celadonia? Uh, it's doing really, really well. I checked on it uh, this morning before I went to work, because I came straight to Bristol from work this afternoon and I finished early. Uh, yeah, doing really, really well. Um, I have got some feeding footage for it, but the feeding footage will not be appearing on my channel. Um, so, you'll have to, you know, the footage of that will be appearing somewhere else. Um, how can you, um, Suzanne Mayall says, how can you keep food from dying off? Um, I suppose for me, whenever I have any kind of uh, feeders, they are eaten relatively quick. Um, I suppose you could give them like a large container to live in until they're fed off, um, provide them with food and water and things so that they can kind of, you know, survive until they're fed, I guess. Am I going on a date? No, I'm not. I, um, I actually have a girlfriend already. Uh, no, I'm down in Bristol for the, uh, the, uh, the BTS lectures, which is tomorrow at uh, the Aztec Hotel in Bristol, I think it is. I basically going to sit in a classroom with a bunch of people who are way, way smarter than me and hopefully learn as much, um, as much as I can. So yeah, this is just traveling attire, to be fair. Nothing too fancy. Um, thank you to RC Gaming and more who loves my content. Um, um, do spiders die from the cold if you catch them and put them outside? Uh, no, to be fair, most spiders will always find a way back into your house if you put them outside, but I'm sure they are capable of surviving in the cold, to be fair. Um, dark spiders, can I, can I show you one of my jumping spiders? Not at the moment. Um, at the moment, I'm actually in a hotel. I just, uh, I just sort of show you guys. Um, yeah. I'm in a, um, I'm in a hotel. I don't have any of my tarantulas here with me. All I have is my laptop, um, some tea, of course, I drink uh, lots of tea. And I have my backpack, which is, um, literally here and my rule is if it doesn't fit into my backpack it doesn't come on my travels so um so yeah and i'm testing out my um my gimbal as well to see how this works for moving around and things so yeah rest in peace of licorice yes i did um the reason for the ponytail i won't talk about it too much now but i explain the reason why my ponytail was cut in tomorrow's video um but yeah, good observation. Hello to Snack Matt. Um, yeah, um, to CJ uh, Van, who says, awesome man, uh, let us know what's happening there. We'll be seeing out to that. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do with the lectures, this is the first time I've ever attended the BTS lectures. And what I'm going to be doing, um, will you be doing a live feed? No. I won't, be fee I won't be doing any filming during the lectures. I don't think it's my place to do that. I don't think they would appreciate it, uh, me sitting there with my camera, uh, recording the whole thing. And to be fair, I think registration for the lectures is at about 11am, 11 11.30am. 11 
the lectures finish at 6.30, then we have um, we sit in, having a sit down meal at 7.30, and then after that we uh, then get a lecture by um, Andrew Smith. So uh, that's really exciting, so it's going to be an all day thing, so my, I can't record for that long unfortunately. But what I am going to be doing, because as I said it's the first time I've, I've attended these lectures, I'm really excited to be to be uh, here doing this and um, I would love to give my my opinion on it I guess. So what I'm going to do is, when I get back home on Sunday afternoon, I'm going to do a live video at 6pm on Sunday. Um, I'll be back at home. Well, I'll, I'll probably, probably be in my living room, not in my bedroom, but uh, and I'm going to sort of sit down, have a chat to you guys, and I'm going to give you all my honest thoughts on what I felt thought of the lectures. So um, everything from sort of the venue, um, how the lectures went, the structure, um, and sort of how enjoyable I guess it was. And the reason for that is one because I would like to, to give people what I you know, tell people what I think about it of course as, a, as an honest kind of review I guess but I would also love for more people to be interested in coming to this kind of thing as I said there are no spiders here you don't buy or sell spiders it's like a big classroom um, it's kind of a very vague way of explaining it but where you sit down and you are given information about what's going on in the world of spiders uh, by professionals so but for those of you that are very keen on learning about spiders and arachnids and things like that, then I really think it will be beneficial. Uh, one of the main reasons that I want to, um, one of the reasons I'm coming here, I did a video a while ago on the deserted wall spiders, and there is a lecture by uh, Mr. Michelle on the deserted wall spiders. So that's one of the main reasons I'd like to come here, as well as meeting up with people and having more of a social. Um, social evening, social two days in fact. So, um, so yeah, um, hello to Nova Kent, thank you for your kind words. <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah, um, yeah, um, the thing with Celadonias, the Celadonias, that was not the price for the spider shop. That was the price for Spiders World EU, um, not the Spider Shop. So, so yeah, as I've said with the Expo, I'm not recording it. I will be doing a, I'll be doing a live video 6 p.m. on Sunday to tell you all my thoughts. Um, Transfer Addict is coming tomorrow. I spoke to him. I know he's coming as well as some other sort of people. Uh, he came last year, and I think he really enjoyed it. And sort of said to me, "Look, it's really good. You need to." You know you need to go so of course as I always say if people want me to do things I will always try and do it so it's now the next next opportunity I'm here I'm gonna do it and uh, hopefully you know I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it I really really am um, so hello to um, Trixaru I think that you pronounce that um, thank you I'm glad that you like my stuff hello to Slash Master 1989 um, how long will it take for my rosehair spiders to shed? That depends on how big your spider is, I guess, and how long since the last molt. Uh, Licorice was seven years old. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, could have been a male, maybe? Seven years old seems quite young for a grandma solar. Excuse me, um, KCK Reptile says, uh, well, asks, do you keep stick insects? I do. I kindly had uh, six eggs off um, a subscriber of mine called Parasite or Malachi. I met him, um, I speak to him quite quite regularly, and he kind of gave me some stick insects and some eggs, so yes, I do have some. Uh, how is Titan? Uh, Titan, my Therophosostermy, uh, he died about three years ago. <laughs> So, um, yeah, he's seen better days. Uh, hello to Afro Lewis, who loves my content, but he's arachnophobic. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, if you continue to watch my videos and hopefully videos of other, other YouTubers and other people, um, you may get over that. And who knows, maybe uh, keep the spirit yourself. That would be pretty awesome if that happened. Uh, yeah, 
I'm looking forward to, to meeting him. I, I don't really want to be a bit of a fanboy, but I, if I can't get any pictures with people, I will be trying to do that because, uh, yeah, I'd just be pretty cool to try and get some pictures with, with some people. Uh, hello to Peter Webster. Um, Olivia Stab says, um, I joined because um, my videos tend to make her feel better when she's angry or depressed. I watch your videos and I smile through it. Uh, that's really good to hear. I've got to, I've got to recommend this, guys. If you would like to have a really, really good laugh, um, there's a YouTube app called The Nerd Room, um, John Young, and he's done a, an absolutely fantastic video that went up last night, and I watched it. Um, me, my brother, and a friend who was sort of chilling, uh, and I was watching some YouTubers. In fact, oh, I was going to show you my phone, but um, I can't, because in fact, if I go onto my Facebook, if you give me just two seconds, I will get the, um, I'll see if I can get the picture up that John Young sent me, I, obviously I speak to him quite a lot, um, on Messenger and on the phone and things, and he sent me this picture. Hopefully you can see this. Um, can you see that? Is it, I think it might be too bright. Let me turn the brightness down and touch. Um, can you guys, you can't see that at all, can you? Mm, no, you can't. Okay, well that really sucks. But basically, um, John Young, about a week, two weeks ago, uh, just messaged me one day and said, I need a picture of you. So I was still in bed at the time and I sort of literally just had long, obviously my long hair and I brushed it all up so it's like up here. Sent him a selfie for a laugh, not thinking what it would be used for. And he did a cardboard cutout of me, which has appeared in his most, re most recent video. So if you would like to have a really, really good laugh, uh, go on to um, the Nerd Room, or type in Nerd Room, and, or if you watch my Q&A tag video, uh, the actual video is an annotation at the end of the video. I was literally crying with laughter. I had to call him up. Um, it was amazing, so definitely watch that. Um, um, hello to Shane the Rocker. Um, Okay, thank you for subscribing. Um, I which video did Alan mention me? In, if I'm asking, I haven't seen any of his videos for a while. To be fair, um, yeah. Um, well, to say the thing is that I don't want to ruin it. It's one. Of the, I think the lectures are something that you need to attend yourself and soak in the information. I, I don't know whether my audio would pick it up or whether people would appreciate me with my camera recording the whole thing. I haven't even bought my camera. That's my mobile, so. Um, but yeah, I will be telling you what I think about it, and hopefully it, uh, hopefully it goes well. Um, Spacey Chapman says, "Can you recommend somewhere to buy transfer from, please? Uh, where are you from? If you don't mind me asking." Um, Uh, Millipede House says, I've been thinking again, my first tarantula, what do you recommend? Um, I would have to recommend personally, um, my one of my favourite uh, tarantulas to recommend is the Ground Stola Pulchra. Um, honestly, if you can find them, they are my number one tarantula that I recommend for beginners because they are just absolutely wonderful. Um, what do I think about cats? Um, I love cats. I love all animals. I like it when you get the cats that are like really like friendly and just want to like be loved and cuddled and whatever. At the same time, you know the ones there's where, where I work. Um, there's a crematorium that we visit a lot, which has got like a, a feral cat, and it can be lying down and I'll be sort of fussing it and it's all wonderful. And then for no reason, it'll turn around and will bite me or will claw me. And um, yeah, I love it. I love cats. Um, yeah, I, was, I, I thought it would have been a male, because seven years is quite young for, for a female. Um, hello to Hipster, hope you're doing well. Um, thank you, Peter. I'm sure you're looking well yourself as well. Um, I'm going to say this is just sort of, just kind of casual wear, to be fair. Uh, what might cause a baby pink toe to die? Uh, putting this bluntly, more than likely just not being kept correctly. Um, lots of people refer to it as avic death syndrome. 
Um, what that basically means is you're not keeping it correctly and I myself am guilty of that in the past so please don't take that offensively or rude um, but they have to be kept you know plenty of ventilation um, and things like that and if you don't provide that it will kill them yes uh, tarantula towels uh, the nerd room is fantastic um, Peter and Peter and uh, the tarantula towels have you seen the nerd room new video and if you have what did you think about it oh yeah I've seen it I'm just reading the comments um, yeah it was an amazing idea um, when when he got in the car and I was on the front seat like like it's making me want to like laugh just thinking about it I actually called him up and uh, he was a bit kind of shocked I think and I was like dude that video was amazing it's like the funniest thing I've seen in ages so um, oh um, so Olivia um, used to be arachnophobic but um, she isn't anymore which is fantastic that's one of the things that I want people I want to happen on with my channel is for people to get over that fear um, yeah Mason R has just said he's just watched the vid if you watch the video please tell him that I told you to go and watch it uh, leave a comment and subscribe if you aren't already he's a great guy I really wish he had more recognition um, Train the Rocker says, have you ever owned a chameleon or would you? Um, I have never owned a chameleon, but I would, if I had the space and the time, I would absolutely have one of them, not a problem. Um, hello mate, uh, it was good to meet you at, the, at Seas. Hope to see you at the BTS, love your content. Um, okay, so to... Um, to um, so to um, to Monkey, um, which who were you that I met at the South East Arachne show? Because I did meet quite a few people. If you could let me know which one you were, that would be great. Thank you. Um, hipster, let me know how you get on with your new tea stir me. Um, tarantula tail. So yeah, um, says that she guesses the ideas pop in his head because he's creative and isn't restricted by yeah. Um, I think with John, I mean, I always say, I always describe him as being absolutely batshit crazy, and I don't mean that in a rude way. Um, I I like John as a YouTuber and as a friend very, very much. Um, honestly, one of the nicest guys I've met, and he he just has that his brain. I don't, I don't know what the inside of his head looks like, um, but he is amazing and. Uh, <coughs> Um, to Philip Simpson, yes, I will reply to you. Sorry, I've um, I say I've been here. I've been sort of finishing off some videos and things. Uh, once I've done this live stream, I will drop you a message and we'll have a talk to you about payment. I will have to give you something for them. I do not accept teas for free. I don't. I don't like doing that. So, but yeah, I will have them off you. I'll give you some money and sort out uh, shipping and things like that with you if you're happy for that to happen. Uh, thank you to Mason for checking out the nerd room. Um, Hello to Homeless Baby. Uh, Olivia says that her sister has a skeleton leg tarantula, her name is Skelly. I truly appreciate the beauty of Skelly. Rebecca is my sister's name and she has supported me through the loss. It's good that she supported you. Um, I mean, I, I have some spiders that die and quite frankly it's just like, oh, okay, never mind. You know, no thoughts given. Um, when my first tarantula died, which was a grammar solar portrait, I li literally sobbed. So I know exactly how you feel. Um, yeah, um, to hipster, yeah, absolutely add ventilation. Um, oh yes, I know who you were, in fact, um, where is it, if, ah, wrong. where is it, if you give me just two seconds, I've actually got uh, your picture in my Dropbox, because I'm, I'm working on a thing, I want to get some pictures of my subscribers on my Instagram, and you are... Uh, you're that dude. If that is correct, that is me and a subscriber. Um, yeah, great talking to you and thank you for joining me on this video. Um, of course, if you are ever going up to do a, uh, a track day, uh, let me know because uh, it'd be great to yeah, have a ride with you or whatever. Philip, I insist, so I have to give you something. Um, 
So yeah, Peter, I can't wait for the BTS. It'll be my first time going, only being in the hobby a few months and have 20 plus inverts. I'm looking forward to meeting you and Kim. Uh, yeah, Peter, it'd be great to, uh, to meet up with you as well. Of course, I will definitely be there with loads of other YouTubers and other people. Um, so when you get there, please come up and say hello and chat because it's always good to do that. Uh, Shane the Rocker, uh, do you own a Velvet Worm? No, I don't. I did own, own a Velvet Worm. It managed to escape and I did find it dead. Um, I don't know how it escaped because the air holes are tiny, but it somehow managed it and I'm gutted. But if I can find another one, I will make sure I use mesh over the air holes to ensure that it doesn't get out. Um, real shame that it went. Um, Um, the naive uh, Crunchy Keeper says, I've been keeping teas for five years with an ever growing collection. I recently just moved into purchasing slings. Eventually I'll breed them. But what's the next best step um, in this hobby for keepers? Uh, to be fair, I think just continuing to grow your collection, uh, get a better understanding of them, network, uh, make friends and things with people. Just enjoy them. You take it at your own pace. What, like, say, the, the way that my. Um, my time with my tarantulas has been will be very different to other people. So it's all about doing things that's right for you and for the animals that you keep. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. Um, yeah, um, toy uh, to um, um, toy to monkey. Um, can you message me on? If you message me on my uh, my um, my Transhadam page and I will add you on my private account and it's easier to talk on there if you don't mind. Um, um, to Harry Paul, uh, yeah absolutely, if you can send me the details I'd be happy to buy some of those off you, that'd be great. Um, KCK Reptiles, where is the BTS? The BTS is held on the 20th of May at the Warwickshire Exhibition Centre. Um, of which there is a holiday in which a lot of people tend to stay out overnight, um, have a drink in the bar and kind of a social gathering before the show. So um, but all information can be found to the BTS by going on to the BTS website, which is thebts.co.uk. Um, head on over there and um, get all the information. I don't have the, um, the postcode and things in front of me, so... Uh, awesome, Peter. I will make sure to pass it on to her. Yeah, feel free to Olivia. Um, I've got um, I've got loads and loads of messages to uh, go through tonight, but uh, I will definitely try and get uh, reply to everyone. What, um, Shane the Rocker? What species of mantis have you owned? Um, God, loads. Um, using the common names just because I've I can't think properly. Um, giant, I uh, like the. Uh, Giant Asian, Dead Leaf, Ghost, uh, Orchid, um, the Violin, Chinese Violin Mantis, um, the uh, the Devil Flower Mantis. Um, I've got two species of undescribed species, which I got from the Southeast Arachnid Show. Um, Peacock Mantis, yeah, quite a few. <laughs> I do like Mantis, not quite as much as the Nerd Room, but I do sort of like them. Um, Harry Paul will uh, send me a message. Great, I will make sure I check that out. If I'm a little bit late replying to anyone, I do apologise. I've currently got about 400 messages on my um, YouTube page, as well as comments and things to go through on YouTube and stuff as well, so I do apologise. Uh, Dan, have you watched the Nintendo Direct? Uh, no, I haven't, but someone did tag me in the Super Smash Bros. Um, video with the, um, the Inklings from um, Splatoon which is something that I will definitely be getting, so, but I will catch up on the Nintendo Direct probably on Sunday evening when I'm back home. Okay, uh, take care to the Trancher, uh, oh, Trancher Times, sorry. Um, hopefully speak to you again soon. Um, yeah, Olivia, um, Orchid Mantis are great. Um, they aren't aggressive or anything, and they are quite happy to sort of chill out in the open. Uh, Philip Simpson, um, are you out clubbing? No, I don't do clubbing. 
I'm actually in um, I'm in Bristol uh, this weekend. I came down a couple of hours ago. I'm here till Sunday. Um, I'm attending the BTS lectures, so I'm meeting up with a few people tonight. Uh, tomorrow's the lectures all day. Um, meeting up with people tomorrow night, and then returning home on Sunday. So. Um, gonna be a really really busy uh, weekend but hopefully it'll be worth it it's the first time I've ever attended this so um, I'm actually in a, in a hotel which is uh, it's nice but it's again to sort of show people if you haven't seen it, it is um, pretty much um, dead to be fair so uh, yeah oh autumn Peter autumn Peter I have to let me know how you get on with those because uh, they are, I'd say, probably Orchid Mantis are in my top three, alongside the Dead Leaf and I thought my third favourite species would be um, probably the Peacock, yeah, awesome Orchid Mantis. How old are you? <laughs> okay, um, I am 27. I'll be 28 on Monday. So uh, yeah, birthday weekend this weekend, which is quite good. I think it's a good way to spend my birthday weekend. Uh, surrounded by people who like talking about tarantulas and drinking and chilling with people. So uh, yeah, 28 years young, which is not a bad age, I don't think, to be fair. I don't mind people asking me that. Oh, awesome. Um, Olivia, you have to send me some pictures of that. Um, and good luck with the communal. I have a communal with... Um, Millipedes, uh, woodlouse, cockroaches, all different things, and it's really cool to just sit and watch them and just do what they do. So, I hope you have fun with those. Oops. And happy birthday for uh, the 19th of March. Sorry, happy birthday for the 24th of March. Um, I will make sure I send you a message on Facebook to uh, wish you a happy birthday. Yeah, I, I do like Mantis uh, Hipster. They, um, it's the variety of them and the different colours and sizes, they're just amazing. It's the camouflage that I really like. Uh, orange tree spider, um, never seem to eat. Have you got one? If so, ever had the same problem? Um, orange tree spider is the T. gigas. Um, Trypinorginatus? No, well, yeah, I can't, I can't think what the... Um, What's the Latin? I know it's, I know it's T gigas, but I can't think what the T stands for. How about is that? Um, give me a second. Because I'm going to feel... I, I, I know this because... Um, I did... Um, two seconds. The My T gigas is actually in tomorrow's video. Uh, Tapping Orginaeus gigas. Uh, that's it. Um, yeah, I do have one. Um, I have the um, T. gigas and the T. violosus, um, both of which are on in a video tomorrow. Um, neither of which were ate on video, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, but yeah. Um, thank you for the birthday wishes for Monday. Um, getting older now, but it's not really a bad thing, is it? To be fair. Uh, to Mason R, thanks for taking the time to reply to each and every one of your fans and followers. Not a lot of people do that. No, it's to be fair, I enjoy, I do enjoy doing live videos, um, you know, as a whole. Um, I don't think there are, I know that there are many YouTubers that do live videos for different reasons, whether it's because of, some of them, it's the language barrier, shall we say. Um, other people don't like being this side of the camera, whereas I'm quite happy to, you know, to then talk to you guys. Um, I was actually going to mention this in another video, but I'm actually going to be doing um, at least uh, two scheduled live videos every month because I'm on call, I'm off call this week and next week I'm on call. Hey! Um, on the weeks where I'm off call, on the Thursdays, I will be doing uh, live videos at 6 p.m. on those nights, and also on uh, the last Saturday of every month. And it's one of them on off call. I'll be doing a live video then, but I'll be doing um, schedules at the beginning of each month to let you all know when I'll be live so you can join me. And that will be a regular scheduled um, scheduled chat so you can come join and have a talk about things. 
Shane the Rocker, a bit off topic, what music do you like? So when it comes to music, I like everything. Um, I like death metal, um, I like classical, everything some, you know, um, sort of, not so much opera, but kind of like piano, orchestral. Um, I love violin music. I love Lamb of God, Cradle of Filth, Children of Bodom. Um, at the moment, my favorite band is a band called Termian Catalot, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, if you just type in Termian um, on YouTube and look at their music or their albums, it's amazing. It's um, it's like Finland industrial death metal. It's amazing. Kind of like Ramstein, if you like Ramstein. Um, my playlist, I would love to do, um, this has came up before, I might do um, a video where I just sort of sit down and scroll through my Spotify on Shuffle so you can get an idea of the range of my music because one minute it's classical, then death metal, uh, then it's a bit of video game music like Zelda or uh, Spyro the Dragon or something. Then it's the Pokemon theme, um, followed by a bit of Eminem. You know, it's just, it's pretty much everything to be fair. Uh, do you eat a tarantula? Um, I have eaten a tarantula, yes. Uh, that's not a joke. I, it was a, um, it was a ze zebra lake tarantula that I ate. Um, I don't know about the scammer, but so long as he was lucky, he wasn't looked off. Um, okay, Olivia is Canadian, um, and you are the one that asked about um, where to get spiders from. I'm sure you don't feel it, Peter. 49 years young is still young. Um, you know, age is just a number, so long as you feel young and you're healthy. I think that's uh, pretty good, to be fair. Um, so Jess got her first tea, which is a grammar style of rosea. She'll be looking at another uh, one. I'd recommend uh, G porkra or pork ropes if you're into terrestrials. Um, get a bracky palma. Uh, th any of those, I'd recommend. Um, or if you want to try an arbor oil, maybe go for a apicularia caverna or wadpora. Uh, I do recommend those. <coughs> Navi. Navi is in navigation from Ocarina of Time. Uh, Philip Simpson, what's your job? Um, I work at a funeral director's, I'm an undertaker. Um, I don't know if there are any strange sounds. There is a TV on over there and a strange whistling sound, but obviously because I'm in a hotel I can't really do a lot about that, so I do apologise about the quality of the audio. Um, oh, you like Ramstein, Philip, that's awesome. How many inverts do I have? Uh, the last count I had... Um, including... I, I have about 120 inverts, excluding cockroaches and uh, woodlouse. Uh, give or take. Oh, now we say hey. Uh, yeah, that's my message tone. Sorry, uh, every time I get a message, um, that will happen, so sorry. Um, yeah, as Peter said, get a G Porgra, they are amazing. Um, hello to Stefan, hope you're doing well. Oh, you're a nurse, Philip, awesome. Um, yeah, it's a job that a lot of people wouldn't like, but I, I actually really do enjoy my job. I work for a good company, I work with really good people. Um, so, yeah, it's a good job, it's, you know, I do, I do enjoy it, which is good. Yeah, <laughs> it can be a bit of a pain when that message tone goes off all the time. But, um, so, Philip, I do apologise. Do you say I haven't actually eaten yet? I'm waiting for some other people to get here before I get some food. Um, I hope they're not too badly burnt. So, anyways, in a few minutes, guys, I'm going to be wrapping this video up because I still have some messaging um, and commenting to do for a bit tonight before everyone gets here. Um, so, maybe another sort of, uh, maybe come for, uh, 45 minutes. Uh, the video will be done. Um, so to Shane the Rocker, um, have you ever travelled overseas? Uh, do you mean that as in um, just for holidays or do you mean for uh, red pole and invert expos and things? Uh, do I keep snakes? No, I don't keep snakes. I have um, I have reptiles, I have uh, beef dragons and leopard geckos, but no snakes unfortunately, which is a shame. Uh, yes, Stefan, I will message you um, about a communal um, once I've done this, pretty much. 
So uh, going back to um, to Shane. Oh, hello to Mark. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're doing well. Um, so to um, to Shane. I've never. I have travelled abroad. I've been to. I've done America, um, Ibiza, Cyprus, France, um, Spain. Uh, I went to Dublin. Uh, my favourite place is Iceland. Absolutely loved Iceland. Uh, I've never been over. Like, I've never been abroad for anything sort of transfer related or invert related. Um, that said, in two week time, well, a week on Wednesday, I'm travelling out to uh, the Netherlands to uh, do some. Um, kind of collab work, um, eating insects and things, which is going to be pretty good, so hopefully I'll be able to meet up with my Norwegian subscribers, Norwegian subscribers, sorry, my Netherlands subscribers, sorry, um, and then in April, obviously I'm travelling out to Budapest and then over to Croatia to meet up with uh, Petko from the Dark Den, do some filming with him for a few days, um, in July, I'm going to be travelling to Ireland for the Irish um, Reptile Expo, which is the 24th of July, I think, give or take. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question, Jane. Um, so Peter says thank you, I, um, he says he has a serious tea addiction now. Thanks to you, Dan, for being the first video I watched was yours, and now I have an order on the way. Awesome. So what are you getting then, Peter? Uh, I'm sorry to hear about your, uh, your stiff neck, Mark. I hope your neck gets better. Um, I'll be rested over the weekend. And yeah, um, I'm all good. I'm just currently in a hotel waiting for people to arrive um, before shutting everything off and going and getting up to uh, going out for the night I think. Uh, hello to Olivia, um, who says that her sister is sitting with me and my mantis is on her hand. Awesome. Um, at least it sounds like it's called a docile one that's pretty chill and not sort of running all over the place which tends to happen with my past mantises. They'll be fine and then all of a sudden they just go off and beep. Um, uh, Lorvo, um, are you have a cat, a dog, uh, dog or cat? No, I don't have either. I used to, when I was younger and I lived with my mum, we had both cats and dogs as well as uh, rats, rats and hamsters and guinea pigs and gerbils and uh, we had fish and snakes. Um, but at the moment I do not have those and to be fair, I probably wouldn't have a mammal like that for probably for a few years because of being out of the country a lot, it wouldn't be fair to leave those animals unattended. Uh, yes, I have. Um, David Attenborough is probably one of my favourite um, doc documentary makers, I guess. Uh, yes, it is, Philip. It's... Um, I've never ever said Del Boy one, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a camel coat. Camel overcoat. Um, it's kind of smart. I have smart, smart casual look, to be fair. So, um, that's good here, Olivia. Uh, best school pin for, for a starter? Um, I would say uh, Flat Rock or just a giant Asian, to be fair. I've never been stung or ending from either of them, so those are what I would recommend. So, um, with that said, guys, I'm going to shoot. Um, the reason is because it's now five past six. I'm going to finish my drink, pack my things away, and I've got to finish off doing some commenting and messaging and things because I've got an, I've got like a back uh, backlog of stuff to do so um, I'm going to be ending this live stream now and say this was an un, unplanned um, unscheduled video um, but thank you for taking the time to join me and chat for a little bit I hope I've answered some of your questions um, and you know had a bit of a chat with you I guess the next live video will be this Sunday at 6 p.m. UK time in which I'll be giving my uh, my thoughts on the BTS lectures, letting you know what I've learned and what's happened, I guess. And of course, there is a video going up tomorrow at 6 p.m., which is explains about why I had my haircut. I don't explain it, but kind of a bit of a clip in there about that. And um, I show you some of my recent additions, including my uh, T Species Columbia, which is absolutely amazing looking. Uh, so you should definitely check that out. Um, so yeah. 
hope you've um, hope you're all doing well. Hope you enjoyed my future content. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. -bye.